All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to remove this virus on Windows 8. Now, to remove it on Windows 8, it's a little more tricky. Usually, if you have Windows 7, you hit the F8 key to go to safe mode so you can get into uh, system restore, but Windows 8 doesn't have that. Now, some Windows 8 computers might uh, go into safe mode by holding down the shift key and tapping the F8 key, but it does not work with my computer. It only works with uh, some computers it's pretty much a miracle if that works for you so the other way to do it is using your Windows 8 installation disk now if you don't have it it's okay I will post on the description of the video below where you can get the ISO file from a torrent and burn it to a CD like I did here this is Windows 8 Enterprise whatever which one you have you can find it burn it to a disk and you'll have it ready to install. All right, so here's the installation disk. Let's turn the computer on and let me show you how to do this. All right, this disk went in automatically. Now, it, it should start booting up from your disk. If it doesn't, uh, go ahead and um, change your BIOS to do it. Mine's just asking it, it's gonna ask to um, to press any key to boot from disk here in a bit it's going to ask that there it is press any key to boot from CD I did all right now it's starting up Okay, so it's going to start up here in just a bit. Now using the installation disk, we are not going to reinstall Windows 8. We're just going to use the disk so we can get into the advanced uh, system options and do the system restore from there. Because the easiest way to get rid of this virus is to do a system restore. And by doing that, none of your files will get affected. It will just put your computer back to the configuration how it was before the virus. Alright, so here it's going to bring up the Windows setup. Just go ahead and click on next. Alright, now here it's going to ask you if you want to install now. But if you notice on the bottom left hand corner it says repair your computer. Click on that. Now we get the advanced system options that we were trying to get to. All right, so go ahead and click on troubleshoot. Go to advanced options. And then click on system restore. Choose Windows 8. That's your operating system. And it's going to start to bring it up. All right, so we're in system restore now. Now go ahead and click on next and go ahead and choose the restore point from when actually before you had the virus. Now if you don't see a restore point here at all it means your restore point might have been turned off. It might tell you that it's turned off. If that's the case then you will not be able to fix it this way and you'll probably have to take out your hard drive and scan it with another computer. That's the only way apart from uh, doing a fresh install of Windows 8 all over again. But if you do see a system restore point before the virus, like the date before the virus, choose that restore point and go ahead and click on next. Okay, it's going to tell you that it's ready. Go ahead and click on finish. It's going to tell you one more warning here that once it starts it cannot be interrupted so once you start the system restore don't turn off the computer make sure you don't lose power it's very important that you don't interrupt this go ahead and click on yes and it's going to start it okay once it's completed successfully it's going to bring up this little message here go ahead and click on restart and the computer will restart and will go back to normal once it restarts the virus should be gone and everything should be back to normal.